leave a like on the video for food, bro. Don't even question it. Just drop a like. What is up, boys and girls? All right, welcome back to another video. Now, listen, this channel needs a bit of a vegan break, all right? We've been talking about vegans for a while now, and I think it's about time we talk about something else. Like, seriously, I don't think I can genuinely open up my editing software and talk about that vegan teacher for another day, so uh, I'll be dropping one sometime down the line. But for now, we'll talk about some dream and how him and his stands have recently been getting canceled all over Twitter. Now, trust me, this is gonna get super interesting and insane, so make sure to leave a like on the video and stick to the end. Also, while you are down there leaving a like on the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to hit 10,000 subs by the end of the month, and you clicking that free uh, subscribe button helps me out a lot. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching this video already know who Dream is, and while if you're somehow watching this and you do not know who Dream is, I'll give a little bit of a rundown. Dream is one of the fastest growing Minecraft YouTubers at the moment. Well, well not one of the fastest. He is is the most popular and fastest growing Minecraft YouTuber. And well, in the last year, this man has gained over, like, I, I don't know, like, 20 million subs, dude. It's literally insane. And, you know, of course, being that he's growing so fast, you're naturally going to get a lot of fans, a lot of stands, especially in the Minecraft community, that are gonna ride or die for you and literally love you and the content you end up putting out for your fans. And, well, see, there's a difference between having fans and stands. And, well, Dream is a well-known YouTuber and he's known especially for having a lot of stands. Now, if you've been living under a massive rock and you do not know what stan means uh stan is basically a hardcore stalker fan who is uh literally obsessed with the content creator and dream has the biggest stan fan base on the internet i mean his stands are literally hardcore and well it's been known for a while that a lot of people just do not like dream stands at all all right they genuinely dislike them and well last night that added fuel to the fire because canceled dream stands went trending on twitter like i get you not people were and still are trying to cancel dream stands as i'm speaking and recording this video because this time dream stands took it a little too far all right they literally went to lengths that i, I have not seen in a long time so uh yeah let let's just get into it now a twitter user that goes by the name of nintendo fact ended up making a tweet about dream and uh basically how they do not like his stand base and overall what's going on in his community and well when i say he got attacked i mean he got attacked in ways that like i literally cannot even explain people got so genuinely mad at him saying that and it went to the point of people making death threats dude i mean literally going to lengths of i think even trying to dox him spam reporting his account trying to get him taken down uh, they got his twitter locked multiple times and well he ended up getting obviously of uh, justifiably fed up now he basically started off this uh thread he made in response saying i'm getting absolutely tired of it now my ex still being flooded with dream stands the community is an absolute disgrace of a community i do not respect any of the crap me or my supporters have been given and you guys need to get a life i had an opinion worded semi poorly because obviously the dude can be entertaining i have no respect for his absolute bad community if it's not death threats slash people telling me to die it's people defending those saying that stuff to me effing unacceptable and i'm sick of hearing not all of us are like that but a big percentage of you have proven me right every time now i'm sick of this and i'm tired of not being fully honest about it they've locked my accounts multiple times for no reason and i'm done and this started a chain reaction action and he ended up making a few more tweets which ended up starting the hashtag cancel dream stands yes you heard it here first the community we thought was impossible to break completely got destroyed on twitter last night i mean people were going left and right with tweets about the dream community like there was a genuine riot on twitter about dream stands dude like i swear it was literally all over the place for hours so at the moment uh the, the internet is not happy with dream stands they're not happy with dream in this community at all and well uh i don't know how it's going to play in the next upcoming days it can either get worse or get better from here i have no idea but from what i'm seeing it, it just won't now there's something i saw about the dream smp which i want to talk about in this video and it's basically how someone on tiktok tried to call the uh dream smp I, I think racist or something like that and i decided you know what since we're already on the topic of dream and you know the people that are around him and his fan base why not let's go ahead and react to this tiktok so uh, yeah without further ado let's go ahead and uh see what this talk is about hey uh, daily reminder to the minecraft youtube community I know you guys get made fun of a lot and your favorite creators get mocked like online a lot and your interest gets made fun of a lot. 
I don't think it's right. I actually think you guys should be mocked a lot more. I love how she has trigger warnings for MCYT, J Schlatt, and Dream was taken. Like, dude, it, it, this this is just the dumbest thing I've seen in a long time. I just, I, I wonder what is making her think that Dream and J Schlatt are genuine racist. And then she proceeds to say that the MCYT community and the fans of the, you know, the community and Dream should be bullied harder because they like Dream's content. You know, that's, that's honestly something else, dude. I, I'm gonna keep it real. Especially Dream fans, and especially Jay Schlatt fans. If you like either Dream or Jay Schlatt, no sympathy. Go for it. Oh, uh, you might think this is hostile, but uh, no, I'm just a hater. Yeah, dude, if you're a fan of the evil Dream and the evil Jay Schlatt, uh, she, she has no sympathy for you. Uh, you heard it here first. You are an extremely bad person, you know, and uh, you definitely don't deserve, you know, any sort of remorse at all. But no, seriously, I, I know she's probably gonna think that, uh, basically Jay Schlatt is, like, some kind of hardcore horrible person and a racist strictly because of his tweets that he makes on his Twitter constantly. Like, I, I have no idea what this entire internet culture has come to. Like, certified hater. So yeah, if you have either um, Dream or Was Taken or Jshot in your uh, username, this is especially directed towards you. But yeah, the Minecraft YouTube community is mainly comprised of people who think white men are the greatest for- Okay, so she's basically saying that because Dream and Jay Schlatt and a lot of the people in the MCYT community are white uh, content creators, that means that uh, everybody's only li like watches their content. Because they're white. I, I I don't even know what's going on at this point. Like, I kid you not, dude. I low-key want to go to sleep because she's not only super boring, but she, she's not making any sense. Dream and Jay Schlatt, I'm pretty sure, have been both around KSI and done content with them. So, wh what do they mean? I, I mean, they, they just, they're, they're not making any sense. Well, she isn't. You can tell, like, right now, I'm just completely uninterested in what she's saying. Because, like, she's just talking about something that doesn't even make any sense. Being white men online. And then they say very racist or stereotypical things about the only POC creators in the space. And there's like, what, two? How many of those POC creators are black? I promise you, the Minecraft YouTubers used KSI as an accessory. Yep, you heard it here first. They they don't really like KSI. Uh, they just let him on the show because they wanted cool points for hanging around a non-white person. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I definitely think she's on to something, dude. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. She's definitely, you know, she's, she's on to something. Being white men. And then they say very racist or stereotypical things about the only POC creators in the space. And there's like, what, two? How many of those POC creators are black? I promise you, the Minecraft YouTubers used KSI as an accessory. Yeah, it's safe to say on that note, I'm just going to completely end off this video. If you if you guys enjoyed me talking about Dream, uh, go ahead and drop a like and comment if you want to see more of this, dude. Because honestly, I'm going to be real, dude. I w my mind was completely lost at the last portion of this video. Like what this girl was talking about made no sense. I'm starting to think she watched too many Shane Dawson conspiracy videos. Dude, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm not even going to lie. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And if you do decide to subscribe, subscribe with post notifications on so you get notified every time I do upload a video and uh, yeah without further ado I'm gonna go ahead sign out do something that uh, isn't vegan or, or dream minecraft stand related and I'll see you guys tomorrow peace